Former President Obama sharing his excitement on Twitter over the newest images coming back from the James Webb Space Telescope, saying they are igniting curiosity and wonder in a whole new generation. Today marks one year since the release of the first set of images from the Webb Telescope. It's NASA's largest and most powerful telescope, and it's already made incredible discoveries. Rekha Mutaraj spoke with a NASA engineer about the newest images and what's next. I'm joined now by Mike Menzel, NASA Mission Systems Engineer, to talk about the incredible discoveries made so far. Mike, good to be with you. A new image was just released today. Can you tell us what we're seeing? Yeah, you're seeing a region called Roa Fugai. It is a region where stars are being born. It's the closest star forming region. It's about 360 light years away. And we believe that we're watching the same processes that formed our own sun. Mike, I want to ask you, what are some of your favorite findings so far? My favorite image was the first deep field that came out. And that deep field, uh, when my wife first saw that picture, she said, well, it looks like Hubble. <laughs> and truth be told, it does. But I had a reminder that Hubble took 14 days to take that image. We did it in 12 hours. We saw galaxies farther away than Hubble had ever seen. When Hubble took a picture of Neptune, it's a big ball of gas and it's a beautiful looking, but it, you can't see the rings. When James Webb took the picture, took its image of Neptune, bang, those beautiful rings stand out. What are you looking forward to learning about next with Webb? I do believe what's ever out there, we're gonna see it. And we are gonna see the first stars and galaxies. And also, Webb is also very, you know, very well designed to investigate exoplanets. And we've already found molecules in the atmospheres of those planets that we weren't expecting, that we really didn't think would be going on there. I'm looking forward to, uh, to what other findings we have in that field.